Hi, this is Jack from Advanced Sound and Lighting. Every couple years I like to take the cabinets, clean them up, sand them down, and put a nice finish on them. And a friend lately told me about the Duratex product. And I'm going to give the Duratex product a try this time instead of just coating them with a heavy industrial paint. Pretty much we just start with sanding the cabinet down, cleaning it. I like to use Bondo. Bondo seems to give a nice hard finish. It's a little more difficult to work with, but uh, we're going to give it a try with that. Alright, we've got our cabinet sanded down and prepped. And kind of like rule of thumb, rule of thumb that is, um, you run your hand across them and you can feel, if you can feel an imperfection, you're probably going to see it. Now, the coating itself does fill in some small creases, but uh, the better you get your product and the smoother you can make it and the less imperfections that you can feel in it are definitely better. So We blow them off, we've got them ready to take inside and what I've done is I'm going to take a wet rag, a uh, lightly damp rag, and wipe them down to get all the dust off and then we'll coat them. Alright, we've wiped our cabinets down and we are ready. We've got a 9 inch roller and a little 2 inch roller. The 2 inch will be for the trims around the area you can't get and of course the 9 inch will be our main tool. I'll be able to show you what we're doing right now. Alright, this is the Duratex roller coat. And this is going to be our first coat, and we're going to do it straight. You dip the roller down into your material and get yourself a nice coat on. This is probably more than enough for the top. Try to keep the lid back on as much as possible so it doesn't dry out. Try to get an even coat across the whole thing. And this will take a little more time on your very first start up of getting the roller saturated. Once you get the roller saturated, it goes a lot better. It's taking me a little bit of time here to get the coat even now. And this is straight product. I did not thin it on the first coat. Make sure you get all runs. Make sure you don't have any runs anywhere. And once it looks like you have an even coat, then put your texture coat on. And then your texture coat. This is what I'm going to start right now. I'm going to start at the front. I'm going to pull a nice even texture coat with not a lot of pressure like you used on the application. You don't want to see your roller marks at all. Come completely off. And that's going to be your first coat. You just continue with all five sides, and that'll be it for the first coat. And there we've got a nice even coat for our first coat on the whole cabinet.
Big difference. And you may ask why the painters tape on the corners. When I take my corners off, sometimes that corner kind of is molded to that same corner. So I'll put a number on the corner, on both corners. Where the, so I put the exact same corner exactly back where it should be. Now we'll do the next one. Alright, here we go with our second cabinet. Once again, get our product on there. Keeping that lid on there so it doesn't dry out. Get it evened out. I use a good bit of pressure to try to get the roller, but if you don't want to use a pan, if you use a roller pan, it's going to dry out too quick. Okay, we've got our even coat on there. Now we'll put our texture coat on. And the texture coat, a little lighter than normal. And I find sometimes you have to do it a couple times light to get it to actually start coming out even. This is really a nice product to work with. I've coated my cabinets with many things from bed liner material to something called rocker and Schultz, which is what you put on the rocker panels of your car, especially your sports cars, you'll see the rocker panels, and that's a spray on, and then coat it with a heavy industrial paint. But this is a very nice coating. Put it right up with vinyl anytime. And the positive with this compared to vinyl is if you bang this up. You're not going to repair vinyl very easily. This is a very easy repair. Now if these cabinets have dried the first coat, I'm going to take about 120 grit, 120 grit sandpaper. I'm just going to rough enough to take off that top rough edge.
not a whole lot, but just take the edge off of it and then we're going to want to wipe it down. Alright, we got our cabinet sanded down and the mess cleaned up and wiped off. And now what we're going to do for our final coat, to make the coat real smooth, is I'm going to add four ounces to a half a gallon. And that's going to make it have a very, very nice smooth finish. And this will be the finish I want to take my most time on to make sure that the every imperfection is covered and it's a nice even final coat. I just stir all that right in there. Alright, we're going to put our final top coat on this one. Try to get a nice even coat before we work on the finish. coated the other cabinet so I have to make a few more dips than normal. Try to keep product closed up as much as possible. Let's see how we have enough to get a nice even coat on that. Now this will be about six of these cabinets that I've done so far. And I'll show you with a zoom in. And there should be some pictures also you should be able to find it will show you what this finish is. It's a little different than what comes right out of the bucket. It's a little smoother. And I, I like it a little smoother for a couple reasons. When you go to wipe the cabinets down, of course if your cabinets are setting anywhere where they're able to get any dust, it's a lot easier to take a cloth and wipe the cabinet down. When it's kind of coarse, Porsche of porous, whichever one you want, on top there. It's a little hard to get the dirt out. It takes you about twice as much time. But if you give it a smooth finish, it's a lot easier. Alright, I think I have a nice even coat on here now. Once again, do all your excess out of your roller before you start this. This way you don't have too much. I like to take my corners. Oh, well, I want a nice coating on them corners because they're going to take a lot of abuse. Of course, I have metal corners that go on there over the edges, I should say. Not corners, but edges. The corners do get metal corners put back on. Alright. And I'm going to start easily and roll right on and roll right off. Stand back, get the light at a couple angles and make sure you don't have any imperfections. I have one that I don't like, so I'm going to do it one more time. Light pressure on this final. Very light pressure with the roller. You don't want to mess with it too much because it is drying. Once it starts to set up, you'll make your product be a little rougher than what you want. Right now we want it to dry. And as it dries, air bubbles that I'm creating now will become smooth. There we go. Don't have any lines, don't have any imperfections. That looks nice. Okay. It turned out real nice. 
and video is probably going to be hard. I'll take some regular pictures and show you. That's a nice smooth coating and thinning that out really makes it nice. And I'm finding about four ounces of water to one half gallon. But those cabinets turned out real nice. This set of cabinets are about six months old and this set of cabinets are about 24 years old I know because I built them I've got some sets that are in between and with not a whole lot of work you can't tell the difference between any of them they turned out real nice good luck with your project I highly recommend this product All right, we got our first coat on there, and now we're going to sand them down with 120 grit. That's what we started to do here on this one. This one's sanded completely down after its first coat. You don't sand it all off. You just kind of scuff it up and make it smooth. It's kind of hard to tell with the video. But it's a nice, flat, smooth coat. And then we're going to take and vacuum everything off. Wipe it down with a wet cloth. Make sure we got all of the ground off material gone. And then we're going to put our final coat on there. And once again, we're going to dilute it with a half a gallon with about four ounces of water. And that seems to leave, give it a real nice, smooth finish and you should be able to see some photos that will be posted also okay we got the final coat on these they definitely turned out well they look good this is nice uh, product to work with I highly re recommend that you use their rollers that gives you the texture exactly that you want very very good product and it works very 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 well now I've got a trailer outside here and that's where I've been putting the base bins and the cabinets when I get done and the heat during the day probably gets up to about 130, 140 inside the trailer. And that gives you a nice baked on finish. So I hope yours turn out as well as mine. I'm very, very happy with this product.